bye to watch this video. It's already the time of the month to show you my finished pages. Yay! It's my favorite video to watch too. I'm sorry that I'm not always commenting on your video. I will better myself to do it. But believe me, I watch a lot of finished pages of other YouTubers. I love to see how they color. And I hope that you like to see what I colored in this month. I managed to in color in quite some coloring books and also in three new coloring books. I did some body coloring and I did two hashtags this month. So I'm very happy and I had a lot, a lot of fun with coloring. Yeah, I had a blast. So I will start with the body coloring and the hashtags. So let's start with the first book. That's the Tales from the Forest Kingdom. I will show you first the body coloring and then I will put it aside and then uh, it will come back this book again because I did uh, also some pages on my own. But um, I already told you that I want to show you first my body coloring and my first coloring, 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 coloring body page was this one. I'm sorry for the glare, it is quite late and I have to put up some light, otherwise you don't see it. <laughs> and this is the first page. I did a body coloring in this book with Cynthia. Uh, she's only uh, on Instagram and her Instagram uh, is called Graham Fun. 64. I will put everything that I told you, uh, will tell you in this video down below in the description so that you can find those ladies too and uh, give them some love too. But I colored this page with uh, the Fibra color, this border based marker. Uh, they don't bleed through in this book. Yeah, when you go over too much or stay at one place, then they will bleed through. But if you just color, uh, they don't bleed through. And I use some cheap uh, glitter gel pen. And this is... Oh, I never gonna <laughs> uh, remember it. <laughs> this is the Hybrid Dual Metallic. I really like um, the Hybrid Dual Metallic gold and silver. Uh, this is already my last backup. So I have to order myself some new one. Uh, because uh, I don't want to run out of them. But this is the page what I did. I hope you see the glare. I think so, because I have some light upstairs <laughs> uh, filming down. So uh, that's the uh, plus side <laughs> when you're filming with, with more light, that you see the glitter more. And I will do it like this. And here you can find the page of Cynthia that she colored. She colored the page also very nice. I really like to do body coloring, because you never know uh, how the page turns out. <laughs> And uh, it is quite funny. And I did this one too with her. I used a lot of glitter in this page. And also the water-based markers again. Uh, I really like how the water-based markers color on this page. Or in this coloring book. And uh, yeah. I hope you can see. And I will do it again like this. So here is her page. Let's see that. Then we go to the last. Oh, this one I did. <laughs> but this is also a page we did together. And uh, yeah, I really love to do body coloring. So Cynthia, thank you for the body coloring. It is also helping me to finish this book. <laughs> uh, to do some body coloring. And uh, I had a lot of fun. I used on this page a little bit metallic. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe a little bit, but not a whole lot of glitter on this page too. And uh, I also told you I like how she did her page too. I think she did on this page some galaxy uh, on her background. So you can see <laughs> it right here now <laughs> what she did. That's quite nice. So thank you Cynthia for doing this. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I hope to do more body coloring with you. And the next body coloring is in this book, 50 Vacation Miniatures by Camellia and Sokova. Uh, you can do this also, I can also reckon this for Color Your Whore because I never have colored in this book, but I'm just doing this for the body coloring. I did the, this body coloring with Elephant Wolf. I hope I don't butcher your name. Um, 
Otherwise, sorry for that. Um, she's also on Instagram. She called on Instagram Elvin, Elvin's Coloring. And she has also a YouTube channel. And that's Elvin Wolf. Um, I will put it all down in the description. Uh, please send her also some love. Watch her YouTube channel. And uh, yeah. Hopefully. I cannot find the words anymore. Sorry. <laughs> this is the first page we did. I tried to use some ink uh, for the background. I'm not that good at doing with ink. Uh, it is also a little bit out of my comfort zone. And if I'm not certain about it, I'm not doing any background. And you already see it all in a lot of my coloring books. I don't do it too much. <laughs> but for now, I want to try it out. And I like the color that I choose. I use also some glitter and some glossy accent on this page. And I color it with the Uhuhu Alco markers. This one. And I will do it like this. And then you can see her page. How she did it. And I have to watch if my. Oh. Uh, I hope that was not blurry. And then we go to the second page that we did. And that is this one. This one came also out. Also quite cute. I used uh, alcohol markers, did some shading in the flowers, but otherwise it was just straight coloring. And I used some glitter and, and some glossy accent and some white gel pen and also some yellow Posca. I hope you can see it. And then I will do it like this again. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the autofocus <laughs> when I'm moving the book. Sorry about that. And if you see a little bit more glare, that is also from the light above me. Uh, that's not something I can do about. So, now it's clear again. <laughs> it's the second time that I'm uh, shooting this uh, finished pages the other one uh, was totally not seeable <laughs> that was all totally blur and uh, now I got a scare that it happened again um, but I hope not <laughs> uh, this is the third page we did and I wanted to use some different kind of color for the elephant and that I did I did some gray and some uh, purple colors and I really like how the combination looks like and I gave her some nail polish <laughs> and uh, here I use some uh, on the sea star some glitter and some um, silver metallic in the umbrella and in the bucket and also some glitter in the ice cream I hope you can see her pages stood out also very nice, but uh, you already can see it here and the other pages too. So I'm very grateful for the body coloring. I love doing body coloring, so thank you ladies for the body coloring. And I hope to do more um, body coloring. And uh, check those ladies out. So that was this page. Oh, <laughs> Something fell down. <laughs> My note. <laughs> Then I have this one, 15 Halloween miniatures by Camille Anchekova. I did this for two hashtags. The first one is September Color Your Heart 2022. And that was is hosted by Love. Lavela's coloring and T World of Adult Coloring. And this one was also for the hashtag Misty Spooky Season 2020. 22, <laughs> 2022, sorry. <laughs> and um, that is also in this month of October, you can uh, submit your pages that you call it for Halloween of other scary pages, everything what has to do with that. And that is hosted by the Country Girls Coloring Plays and Mini Videos. Everything you can find uh, again down below in the description. So check those ladies out too. And this is the first page that I did. 
in this book and I had a lot of fun with using choosing these colors <laughs> because they are uh, monsters in my eyes and um, in my eyes it was funny to give them very bright colors <laughs> so that they're not very scary anymore and they are eating apple with chocolate so that is why that is brown <laughs> And uh, I use only some glitter in the balls on the chocolate and some metallic uh, gel pen on the sticks. That is all that I used on this page. Had fun coloring in this page. And also I really like the back black background. You don't have to worry anything about the background anymore. Maybe you can put some stars on it. But that is your choice to do. And the second page that I did is this one I had also very fun with coloring in this one the, in the previous page I did with the uh, uh -huh, and this one I did with uh, how do we call it I think yeah this one touch B G L N or something like that I hope you can see it with this alcohol markers I try to um, uh, run them low or dry <laughs> Some of them are allowing uh, almost done. <laughs> and I use a little bit glitter in the eyes and some silver in the wings. And they are so cute. I really like it. I like also the hair. <laughs> I find it funny, the hair. <laughs> yeah, had fun. Oh, my note is falling down again. And this book is also for color your word uh, because this is also the first page that I colored in this book. I'm not certain which page was the first one. I am going in order uh, because I colored four pages in this book. I'll put that again away. <laughs> and this is the first page. In this book, I used my uh, twin markers. My small twin markers. I'm not certain if you can buy it in uh, in America or England. I know there are some action in uh, France and in Belgium. You can find them. And I'm not certain if they are available now. But this has a brush nib. And what I really like from this set is that they do have a fine nib. And they are alcohol based. So... Uh, that's very nice and I didn't use them for quite some time so I wanted to give some love to them so I used them in this book and I used some glitter gel pen and some white gel pen I think you can see a little bit it's not a whole lot just a little bit I like how uh, this came out I love this pair and also when it, this book is grayscale so it is very easy you can just straight color it with alcohol marker and if you want to do it with color pencil they gave some guidance where the, the shading is so. but I'm a more an alcohol girl <laughs> not the real alcohol <laughs> but alcohol markers <laughs> and this page I really like too I used some uh, hybrid dual metallic gold on this page and that is and some white gel pen and uh, I really like how this came out with the red and the gold and the brown and the blue nice combination this one is also very cute my purple bear and the mouse like it and the last one that I did in this book is this one I used only some white gel pen uh, otherwise just only alcohol markers they are quite cute I like the green the green is beautiful I like her too but <laughs> And then I have the adorable Charlotte's, uh, the adorable Charlotte's cuteness overload by the Rayscale Coloring Book Six by Darcia Korchika, so something like that. I will show you the name. <laughs> I really like this illustrator, and um, 
This is also for color your heart. This is the first page that I did in this book. I really like how that came out. Only the bear, I think I could have chosen another kind of color, but it is done and it is not that horrible, but maybe I would have chosen another color, but I really like how her eyes came out. And I used some glitter in the border. I think you can see it, otherwise I will do it like this a little bit. And also on her jewelry, some glitter gel pen. But otherwise, just alcohol markers. I think I use my twin markers, the other twin markers that I have. Not that one. This one. The regular, regular uh, alcohol markers. I love them. They have a fine nib and they have a brush nib too. So uh, you can use them for both. For the easy of the small part or the bigger part. Then I did this one. This one I used um, the hybrid dual metallic gold again. And also some stardust jelly roll. Um, yeah, and some white gel pen for the stars in the background. I leave her skin white because my husband, it was, I was debating what color I wanted to do the skin and I asked my, mom, my husband what color shall I do. He can leave it white, maybe it is a zombie or uh, a vampire and <laughs> they have very uh, pale skin. So I thought it was a good idea so I left it like this and I'm uh, very happy how this came out. I love the colors that I choose on this page. And the last one that I did in this book is this one. Totally different and I really like how this came out too. I use some glitter on her jewelry and that is all I use for glitter and some eyeshadow. Uh, but otherwise it is just alcohol markers. I really like this creature. I'm not certain what it is but <laughs> I like the colors that I choose. <laughs> looks very nice. So that was this book. Then I go to my regular books. No, not regular books, but the other books that I colored in. And this is the first one. This is Magical Fairies by Demita Victoria. I managed to do four pages in this book. And I have to do only four pages to finish this first copy of this book. So that is doable for the next month <laughs> and otherwise at least this year so I used the hybrid duo metallic gold for the sun and I used some um, metallic silver for in the bow and in her jewelry and also metallic in her wings and yeah and some white uh, gel pen for the clouds but otherwise it is just alcohol marker and it is not the uhu one I can see that was this when this alcohol marker the touch BGL and uh, otherwise it is the touch cool if I don't get it uh, but uh, I think it is this that one On this page I used um, the hybrid dual metallic uh, glitter gel pens. They have uh, different kinds of color in the gel. So that's very nice. It gives a nice effect. I hope you can see the different kinds of colors. And I use some metallic uh, gel jelly roll for uh, the gold brownish color. And also the silver is metallic. And otherwise it is just alcohol markers. Only in the dress you cannot see. Maybe you see a little bit my alcohol marker run out dry. That is <laughs> something I really don't like. <laughs> when you're coloring something and your alcohol mar marker is running dry. Um, mostly I can cover it up. And that I did in this page too. I see it a little bit, the difference between the colors, but it is not uh, as terrible. And if it is a lighter color, I will go over with a darker color, but for now it is fine.
I really like how this page came out too with the purples and yeah. And then I did this one. On this one I used only a metallic gel row for inner wings. And that is all. And in her nails some uh, some and in her jewelry. Otherwise it is just alcohol markers. I really like this darker color and, and the flower in combination with. And I also like the, the green leaves that I give different colors so they are more noticeable than if you color just one color. And then we go to the last page that I did in this book and this is this one. I used um, also with a metallic uh, jelly roll for the bridge and I was not certain if the bridge were uh, open or close but I make it open so that the mountain at the background came through and I really like it and I use a lot of glitter for the water <laughs> I like the effect for the water <laughs> I like this and I use some glitter in her wings the only thing I had some problems with choosing the color of her dress because I already choose quite a lot of uh, colors for in the flowers but I like the color choice that I did and also um, I use some um, golden metallic for her jewelry too. Yeah, it came out quite nice this page too. Then we go to the 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camilla Angelikova. And this is the first page. A lot of red, <laughs> I know, <laughs> but it is a coral, and in my eye, corals are red. <laughs> and I used uh, quite some glitter on this page, and also some metallic uh, jelly roll on this page too. Uh, yeah, that's fun with the colors, and I like the color choice that I make. I think you already see all the glitter on this page too. Oh. The next page too, that is also very shiny. <laughs> be warned <laughs> and here it is <laughs> I told you uh, I use metallic um, silver and from the jelly roll Stardust jelly roll and the black one is a dark grey and I really like that it is dark grey so that you can use them in combination uh, so that is what I did and I give uh, the mother uh, the purpley colors and her children some other kind of colors and uh, I really like how that came out have fun with coloring in this page this is very shiny <laughs> then we go to this one Sadly, in my first video, it was okay. But when I was uh, going to go uploading the video, I saw that the quality was not good for them from the video, so I had to do it over again. But I did start coloring this page for October, and I forgot to do a blotter page. So this page had have now a poo boo. Um, yeah, there's nothing to do about it anymore. Maybe I will put a page um, from Instagram here over so you can see it how it used to be. But I used on this page ooh, alcohol markers. I used some ink for the background and of course some glitter. I'm very sad that it happened, but yeah, it's my own fault. I had to be careful next time. And I did this page also with alcohol markers. And I really like the color scheme of this uh, jellyfish. And I'm not certain what are this my screen. I don't know. <laughs> but I make them red. Uh, glitter uh, glitter red and uh, red and wine red. And 
I really like how those four came out. And then I did this one. I had to look twice. I was not certain if it was a mon bunny or a mouse. But I'm now certain it is a bunny because the tail is small and not a big <laughs> tail. So uh, I like how I colored this bunny, the colors too. And I really like how this fish came out too. With the blue and the purple. And I really like those that I gave them other colors. So I had fun with this page too. I think you see the glitter already on this page. I'm not certain which uh, glitters. Mostly I use different, uh, all different kinds of glitters on my pages. Because every set has different kind of colors. And I went between this page and this page. Because I did not know what the color to color. Um, his house. Uh, and I'm happy that I choose this color. That what's very nice. Also with the blue and the and the red and it came out quite good. And I used I think I used the ooh all oh, colors I used on this page. I know about those colors are from the ooh. And I love this page too. Next page. I used also a lot of metallic jelly roll and I used the hybrid dual metallic silver for the wings and the tail and I used other kind of alcohol, uh, alcohol yes I used alcohol markers but other kind of glitter gel pen on this page too so it is very shiny in his submarine <laughs> and I used the ooh, alcohol markers on this page. This book is also that I don't have to do a lot of pages. So maybe I will finish this one next month. Too. We'll see. We will see. Then we have this book. Whimsical Darling. Cute and Simple. By Jana Pas Prosverena. And this is the first page. <laughs> My husband uh, asked me if I could color a Harley Quinn. I don't know what Harley Quinn was. This is a movie. <laughs> and it has something to do with Batman. But uh, it's a kind of a horror -y, a scary movie or something like that. And I'm not from... I'm not like that. Not liking that. But uh, I search it up and try to match the colors as much as I can. But this is a little bit difficult uh, because her hair is very blonde and then goes in the color. I tried to blend the color in. It did not work very well, but I did my best. <laughs> and I also know, if, like in her bows, uh, red and blue. And also her clothes are li like that. But uh, that is very difficult to do on this page. And she is the cute version. I'm... I saw also that there was on one of the pages that I saw a heart on her uh, on her um, on her face, so I call it that heart. <laughs> it was a little bit out of my comfort zone because this eye had to be red and that to be blue. Um, but all in all, I think it came out quite nice, <laughs> and I make the umbrella totally gold. <laughs> That's the reason why my gold ran out low this month. <laughs> I used them quite a lot. And uh, it was fun to color this page. And this is the next page. I did a speed coloring on my YouTube channel. So you can see this in a speed coloring how they, I colored this page in. Uh, I used a glitter gel pen. Yeah, I use only glitter gel pen from different kinds of brands. I think um, mostly Stardust and uh, Hybrid Duo Metallic Glitter. Because you can see in her wings there's also two kinds of colors in them. 
and I really like how it came out. Mostly, maybe I could do the shading more uh, subtle, but it is fine. I like it how it came out, especially the hair. I like. And the next one is this one. Didn't use uh, quite a lot of glitter on this page. Only some glitter in her jewelry and here. And I use some glossy accent for the glasses. I try to use my um, supplies more in my coloring book. Uh, yeah, I try to do my best. Otherwise, this alcohol markers. And I really like the color of her dress. The blue is very blue. I like it. And then I have this one. I didn't mark it, but I see here down noticed that I got it in September. So um, I really like how her hair came out in her blue, uh, no blue, no green eyes. Only difficult was for me to look at here. What belongs to the head? What belongs to the leaves? What belongs to the flower? Uh, so I just colored in the way I think it is, and otherwise it is now like this <laughs> and I really like how her dress came out too uh, it's very colorful this page the next one is very glittery <laughs> I use my stickless again I have to give them more love and I wanted to use that in this uh, page in the hair and in her tail and it came out quite nice I will put it down so you can see how glittery this page is and I also use some um, hybrid dual metallic gold uh, for in a star uh, see star well, no no <laughs> cannot find the word anymore <laughs> and uh, I wanted to color her darker skin and uh, I think it is a good choice for this page and I use some metallic gel pen and some other glitter on this page too I hope you can see it's very shiny <laughs> I love the color of her hair too and the next page is this one this one is for my mother my mother was this month was her birthday also from her father they are day on day and it was very hard this this year because it is almost a year ago that I lost my father and yeah I wanted to do something uh, for my mother and for my father so the red is more for my father because my father likes the red color uh, he's not not for purpley sorry but I thought it was most food sit um, it fits this page more <laughs> and my mother has a brown brown hair she's now a little bit brown gray sorry mom <laughs> and um yeah i did it more for the for them both their birthday so and then i did this one i wanted to color blue blue hair so I did, I picked out a, a nice color of blue. <laughs> the only thing I had uh, a little bit problem with, what do I color her clothes now? <laughs> because the hair is very bright and vibrant. Uh, I thought I keep the clothes a little bit uh, toned down. <laughs> uh, so I choose for the darker red and the wine red and the dark blue and it came out quite nice I used some glossy accent on uh, the lollies and I used some glitter in the lollies I had only with skin uh, this sometimes happens when you're not quick enough uh, but otherwise it came out quite well and I used some glitter for in her jewelry and in her bows yes, yeah, you can see it And then we go to this page. I knew I wanted to use the, my purple um, jelly roll. And that I did first. And then I choose the skin tone. I hope that you don't hear that noise. I'm not certain what that noise is. But uh, oh well. I hope it stops now. <laughs> um, and I use 
some stickers for the unicorn in uh, his horn and in his hooves and also in the wings I used some uh, glitter gel pen and I really like how it came out very shiny and I love the colors that I choose on this page too so yeah and then the last one in this book is this one I wanted to use some autumn colors so I want to use some browns, some dark red, and uh, and I wanted to use a little bit of purple, now pink or something for contrast. And the only glitter on this page is this wand and some in the flowers, but otherwise it is just alcohol markers. I hope you see it. And yeah, had a lot of fun it's using the colors. And I have to tell you, I finished this book. Yay, another finished book. <laughs> I will show you the finished pages in the next video. Uh, you can expect it this week or next week to finish uh, the pages of this book. And then we go to the next one. And that is 3D Madela's coloring book number 2. And this uh, the illustrator is Rudu. Rudy Frassi <laughs> I hope I say that name right <laughs> otherwise uh, you can read it <laughs> I did two pages in this book I used my big intensity um, again I have this fine liners and the fine tip so that is very nice in this book because the fine lines are quite fine uh, I could use the twin markers too but I choose the other medium because I didn't use them in quite some time and I really like how this came out from from dark to light yeah and the next one is this one I used um, also the big intensity and I think I used the sharpies also on this page just a flower with the yellow inside and the dark blue and light blue. It was very simple to do, but it was very relaxing to color this page in. And we go to the Stone Mosaic Black Edition. I have the version, uh, there are multiple coloring book in one, and they are by the Belba family. This is also very relaxing to coloring in. You just pick your colors and choose the numbers that you have to color in I had some alcohol marker that are running low that's also the difference between this color and this color is a little bit uh, not uh, seeable but uh, I want to use up my alcohol marks that I have but otherwise this was very relaxing to do this one came out so very nice I know the name of this fruit in my own language, but not in the English language. But if you see it, you know what I mean. And then we have here a fly. I love the colors. This one is the goldfish. And that was the last page that I did in this book. I'm certainly going back to this book again. Very relaxing to do. You don't have to think about colors or nothing. And then I have Fairy Celebration by Camilla Hensikova. It has been a long time that I call it in the book. I have a, a lot of whips in this book that I have to finish. But I finished, managed to finish one page and that is this one. I wanted to try out my alcohol markers in this book, so I did. I colored this page with alcohol markers and I shaded with some color pencils and on the background and on the grass I used um, ink tents and they came out quite nice and I used some um, hybrid duo metallic gold and also some other glitter pen and some uh, golden metallic and some other glitter pen I hope you can see it 
I think I shared it with uh, the Faber Castell and the Obas uh, pencils that I have. And <laughs> the ink tents are the only pencils that I use this month. <laughs> Shame on me, I have to use my pencils more. <laughs> but maybe next month. And I really like how it came out. Uh, they do bleed through, but I have to say that Uhu Alco Marcus did quite well on this paper. It did not bleed out as much that I thought it would be. Uh, it's nice to know. Maybe I will do it like this more. And then we have already last coloring book, sadly. <laughs> and that is the Fairy and Fantasy 2 by Christina Corrin. I did two pages in this book. I don't have to do a lot of pages in this book also. Maybe I will finish that next year. And the first one is this one. I only regret that I did the skin too dark. Um, but oh well. In my mind it is, he is a tree. A man. And uh, I could have chosen a different kind of color. I like the green that I choose. Uh, this whole nature. And I like the birds too, with the, the red um, bust, I think you called it, and the brown. And if I could choose the butterflies, I would create them a lighter green, but blue is also fine. But sometimes you think uh, when you finish, ah, I should have chosen another color, but otherwise I like how it came out. And then I did this page. I really like my koala. It came out so nice, the koala. I really like it. Uh, the other two <laughs> also, but the koala pops out for me. <laughs> and I use some glitter in the border, different kind of glitters. And uh, yeah. I really like how this page came out too. So, that were my 10. No, not 10. <laughs> so this were my finished pages. I hope you enjoyed watching my finished pages. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my coloring journey, please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you very, very much that you watched my video. And I hope you're staying safe and healthy and be, be just kind to each other. Especially in this world now. Uh, just be kind and... Uh, yeah, be safe. And then I will see you in the next video of mine, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, bye-bye.